famous old Chad, uh, defeated her in this uh, drinking game through questionable means. Uh, downright cheating. Down, damn right cheating. Uh, Shabethany relented, released some of her items to the party, but then was uh, bartered with and given a contract so that she was allowed to leave the island. Um, because she was sort of bound there by Yasnik duty. Uh, but this left the island uh, in a bit of a problem, as it, there is no sort of preceding paladin in charge of some of the issues that go on here. So uh, El Chad was given uh, three different tasks to look into. Uh, one about orcs on the island, one about uh, Yakuza. Actually, no, it was four, because one of them was a uh, circus, and the last one was a strange uh, strange altercation and events happening down at this place, the water park known as Bar Ovia, a uh, sort of family-friendly bar here on Casa de Yasni. It's used a lot for, you know, the paladins and things who have families, you know, kids and stuff while they go bar hopping. Um, they had a interesting altercation uh, with a couple of funky pirates in the Lazy River um they had a a guy and i forgot his name damn it who is his what was his name i think Ethan? he didn't even say Al, it Al strong no 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 the barkeep who they oh, made okay. cry and he had like this really sad backstory <laughs> but he left they talked him away and then after they then had a altercation with uh Count Strahd von Arovich, uh, the lifeguard and owner of Bar Ovia. <laughs> um, and then after a little bit of sitting, <clears throat> sorry, I'm like, I've been out in there, so I got pollen all in my mouth. Uh, Ahmed and Jeeves figured out that, uh, something was amiss the dreamscape was starting to fold over this place it seemed like it was kind of sparking in and out and at a cer certain point uh probably when muse was blinking because muse didn't see any of this uh she got sand in her eye um this figure um uh, this large mechanical figure uh, arrived uh spouting out uh, a couple of haikus. Uh, off in church they slay, wealth and treasures, none revealed, shadows hide their deal, and shellport saviors they try, but their valor just a lie. False heroes, oh my. Um, as he arrived, claiming both parties to be thieves. Um, and that is where we left off, I believe. All right. Uh, is that pretty good? Catch up. I think it's a pretty good catch up. I don't have music. Hold on. There we go. This will work. Um, all right. As he slams his foot on the docks, um, the the water in this pool sort of ripples through. Guests start to run, sort of all to and fro. Um, as he sort of strikes this really dramatic pose on the other side. Hark! Knaves, you did not believe that I would find you. But, alas, I, the great Sarugi, find the most nefarious thieves off in church so that I may reclaim my treasures from you. Uh, he sort of strikes another pose and slams onto the dock again. People begin kind of running. Um, and he's going to point over at you, uh, Armed. Armed's going to do the thing where he points at his own chest. And he's like, and he mouths the word B. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to go. Correct. You, Dreamwalker, are the worst of them all. For I didn't you steal have anything stolen from you. Uh, you have stolen a prize far and beyond your station. 
an hourglass, one that does not belong to you. Ahmed's gonna look over at Jeeves, and he's like, "We did take that. We did take that." We and he looks back that. at everybody here, and he goes, "Yeah, fairly, we took that. fairly, we did take it fairly." Yes, we found it. He's. <laughs> We More like it. absconded with it. You do not know the dangers in which you hold. None of you do. Look, you can like uh, leave me out of it, okay? Eh, here, um, uh, and he kind of stops making the pose and kind of like looks at you a bit befuddled. Uh, actually, I I don't think that uh, you stole anything. So uh, if you would just step out of the way. Yeah, no problem. Uh, hey, Ethan, you might want to uh, go in the opposite direction. I'm stuck in the lazy river, man. <laughs> All right, well, uh, you know, just uh, relax, I guess. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what is while this is going on, what is El Chad doing? Uh, you know, El Chad is watching this guy just come up out of the ground, and he's saying, eh, and he's floating down the Lazy River. He's just, <laughs> just you know, like, fucking, you know, if, if this isn't solved by the time I get to him, I'll just kill him myself. Yeah. You're, uh, Floating down the lazy river, uh, raised the yeah, lazy river, and some uh, like people are trying to hide behind you uh, because obviously you're still like in somewhat a paladin's attire. Yeah. Has you paladin, just, paladin bathrobes? <laughs> yeah, the equivalent thereof. Um, what is uh, Marine and Baps doing? Um, so Baps, having previously embarrassed himself, uh, w walks back up with the arrival of Sarugi, and he is, he's very twitchy still, because he's still under the effects of the refined orc vitality potion. Mm -hmm. And, uh, he's st 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 stammering even more than y usual. Uh, it's just, it's, 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 do you know this clown? I know that he should not be in this pool. Why, why, why is that? That. Normally, we do not let giant mechanical men slam and break the dock of the pool. That makes sense. Uh, should we say anything? Yes, but are you all right, my friend? Oh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, I feel... You seem a bit I, befuddled. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I, uh, must, must have been some, something I ate. Uh, would you like me to help you out with that? Uh, 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 sh sh sure. He grabs you very uh, suddenly and with a, a sort of surprising amount of strength. Uh? He tilts you on the side, dipping you over, and he bears his fangs to you before he gives you the breath of life, uh, which gives you lesser restoration. He's going to cure you of one condition, which is your horrible erection, at least <laughs> caused by the uh, orc vitality potion. Now how Baps feels afterwards, that's his other problem. <laughs> that's up to him, yeah. <laughs> that's up to him. I'm not going to say one way or the other. Baps has twitched so badly he he didn't even notice. But now 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 now, now I, uh, oh I, I, I feel better. Th thank you. Of course. Now, I'll walk straighter too. I stand a bit taller. Yes, you are quite the ball. So so, so, so sh 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 should we go talk to this g g g g g putz or what? I would prefer and it if there was not a fight here, but. You know how the paladins are. They sometimes get a little rowdy. So, you know, we sort of have insurance for this sort of thing. Don't means, but... 
If you can talk him down, that would be the best. But if you cannot, then I suppose I could involve myself in it. Uh, Babs is going to look over at, at Marine kind of questioningly, and then his half of his face is going to twitch out of control. Uh, Marine's normally pale face is three shades lighter than a tomato um, at this entire ordeal that's been going on. Um, well, I... Are we really the talking sort? I'm going to be honest, I could just sort of make a kind of state put here. A little bit more on the spellcasting side. Fuck it! I'm, 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 he, he, this guy can, he needs to get, get, get out of the pool! Alright, so what you're telling me is to go, <laughs> what you're telling me is to go full hog, right? And Babs kind of just full pushes. Hand, full hand, full hand, full hand, full hand, full hand! <laughs> Stay out of the pool. <laughs> no pool. Everybody's out. <laughs> the pool's closed. <laughs> and Marine pool's is closed. Gonna, Marine's going to just like stand behind Babs and just like lift her hand. And I'm going to just send out three Elbert's left. Cool. What? Where? 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 <laughs> towards, the, towards the guy coming out of the portal. <laughs> Well, he's already out of the portal. Okay, well, out of the portal, um, I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to send three Eldritch Blasts in his direction. All right. Shoot him, then. Okay. Uh, Damn! Um, uh, three and they're, they're going to, on contact, if any of them hit, they're going to feel like water is holding him still as uh, his movement gets reduced by 10 feet for each one that hits. All right. Only the last one is going to hit. All right, so his movement's reduced by 10 feet. All right. As he's talking, he's going to go, um, he's going to say, So prepare yourself, thieves, for it. Ow! Hey, stop that! As he's, like, getting hit by these blasts. <laughs> yeah, basically, it just feels like big giant waves that are hitting him. And that's what's keeping him still. Um, and he is sort of knocked off balance a little by this. What should I expect from such devorous thieves? Nothing Who's but that? the most sneaky and underhanded tactics. I'm not a thief. <laughs> uh, he he kind of like takes his hand and he looks over at you, Muse. I I don't recognize you. <laughs> oh, cool. I don't want to go near the water, so that works out for me. There is enough of this. Uh, and he swipes away. Um, and he is going to make his way forward towards um, towards you, Ahmed. Enough. I have come to reclaim my treasures. Uh, and he's going to make his way there. But as he does, he's like, eh, eh, hold on. Eh. He's like stepping in like pool noodles and struggling <laughs> to get to you. Yeah, yeah one moment. Oh, oh, sorry. As he's like hey. pushing people away. Armed's gonna, Armed's, uh, gonna, also try to mash pace and walk away from this guy, but he's also gonna say, I, I, "Okay, I, I don't have it, but I can tell you who does." Make it's Shabethany. A <laughs> Make a deception. Okay. I'll roll this. Yeah. <laughs> he he stops. <laughs> what? Um, Jabeth, and he and he puts his hand on his mouth, and when he does. At first, what looked like a mask, like sort of the mask part of his face and, and his jaw, um, starts to move. And you realize that this creature is like a mechanical thing. 
like his his mask is his face mm -hmm. um and he goes well speak up who is this warrior you speak of this thief that has the item Ahmed's gonna look around at everybody and do like this big motion of nodding his head and say, Gabethany sent us on a mission to get it, and now she has it. She's actually not far from here. But believe me, I don't have it. And Jeeves is gonna go, Yeah, we don't have it. You don't have it. And he kind of like stands upright and starts rubbing his his mouth again well, that, mm, it would be a problem thief does wish to sell their goods mm. but you also may be tricking me prove it all right armed is going to take his pack off and He's going to do the thing where he, uh, you know, like pulls out his pockets to show they're empty. And then mm -hmm. he, uh, you know, strokes his chin, snaps his fingers a little bit, and boom. He uh, makes his pack look like it's totally empty as he shows it to him. He's like, wouldn't I have it in here? Um, well, I... Don't you uh, see the pack's empty? Uh, I don't have your toy. He... <laughs> He's going to make a save really quick. Okay. Let's see how he does. I'm going to do this. So, 19. so he does match. Uh, let me get a closer look at it. And he, boop, 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 starts stomping his way up onto the thing. That uh, can't be right. I, I was sure of it. Would I um, lie to you? All right, what are you going to do? Because he is going to dispel your illusion if he does check it out oh friends <laughs> got it um I, was, I, I, I close the pack and i put it on my back and i say yeah. look i don't have a beef with you i don't even want that dumb hourglass i don't even know what it does <laughs> but look i'm i'm a nice guy and i'll be your friend i'll bring you to shabethany he's uh, got it roll a roll a deception with advantage, because you got okay. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty high. I want to roll his. See his. He's he's not gonna do it. I don't think he's wise enough. No. <laughs> he goes. Eh. Well, oh. <clears throat> and he stands up straight. I'm sorry for not believing you before. You may have taken it, but perhaps you did not know of its ill aura. Ill aura? Uh, no, I didn't know anything about it. It is an item of most nefarious intent. Bound to... Uh, I, I, I'm not going to tell you the rest. Uh... <laughs> uh I must locate this item. <laughs> well, but quickly. you need not help me anymore. I can find her on my own. You said she was on a ship. No, no, no. She's just out the door, actually, on the beach. Sun tanning. On the beach. She's got uh, it in her purse. I think she did go on a ship. Did she really? Ahmed starts shaking at the knees and looking around. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. um, we, uh, I talked an elf into going to go feed a ship hand or some nonsense. She left well, already? Blast. Then I am already behind. He, he sort of stands up straight, makes a pose, and he looks at you, Ahmed, and he goes, What? I must thank you for giving me this information and apologize for my most uh, heinous of introductions. I did not mean to be so hostile to someone so willing to help. Oh. Hey, no problem, friend. 
That's correct. You shall ever or forever be the friend of... Boom, makes a pose. Shurugi! Hey, hey, that's great. I'm happy for you. Uh, um, happy we're friends. I, I got to see a man about a horse, though. And uh, he starts uh, running off. <laughs> and I must go as well. And he crouches down. Like, and you see this wind start to appear around uh, his legs before he whoo, leaps into the air completely out of sight. <laughs> he looks at Maureen. He's like, close one, huh? Whew. Whew. <laughs> that would have been awkward. That would have been <laughs> awkward. If it does help, I did actually have the intention to be hostile. Hmm. Hey, are you good at uh, detecting auras and magic? I'm an arcane user, am I not? Hmm. Arbed's going to pull out the hourglass and he's going to say, would you look at, would you help me look at this and see if it's got a bad aura or something? You give me some time, but yes. All right. Re yeah. We'll, All we'll, right. we'll assist each other. And oh. I'm going to just ritualistically cast identify. Oh, master, master, one, one quick thing. Yes. I, yes, I know you have. I know you have a plan for this. I just wanted to double check. So what happens in a minute? Ooh. Ooh, we should probably hide behind El Chad. Let, so, uh, sorry, Marine. Sorry, we we have to go. We got to go sit next to our boy. You can at least leave the damn thing with me before you walk off with it. Oh no no no. Well then, I'm just Actually, gonna follow you wherever you go. <laughs> yes, yes, that's good. Come, come, and we're all gonna. I'm gonna get in the lazy <laughs> river behind El Chad. Um, Vinny, uh, Vinny, make a perception check. Yeah. All right, uh, Vinny. An eight. I'm not supposed to have advantage. Eight. Uh. All right, you you walk by, and um. As you do, you stumble a little bit, um, and you realize that you got gum on your shoe. Oh, gross. I'm going to try to scrape it off on the edge of the pool deck. And then, yeah. uh, do I get it off? Uh, make a dexterity save. You scrape it off uh, with relative efficiency. All right, I'm gonna. Then I'm just gonna grab uh, Ethan's mushrooms right here and say, uh, "Yeah, uh, I don't know. You might want these soon. Never know." And just toss them to. He's him. floating. He's floating in the water upside down. Like drowning. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hey, uh, you funky dudes. Can you, uh, make him not drowning? Yeah, we'll flip him over. Yeah, you can eat his Wait, mushrooms. I, I guess, uh, <laughs> before, instead of tossing them to him, I'll toss them to them. All right. It's at this point, uh, uh, Count Strahd jumps into the water to save him. <laughs> it's a very dramatic scene. What is Musei doing while that altercation happened? Uh, staying the fuck away from the water. No. Because, you know, people pee in these pools. <laughs> no. I mean, at least the oceans. You know what fish do in the oceans. Roll, roll 2d6 for me. Ah, uh, shit. You're requiring me to use my keyboard. Let me I'm dig sorry. it out. Uh. 
You can roll 2d6. Yeah, you can click mouse. click the dice button with your mouse. I don't think he's near his keyboard. You want me to roll it for you, Dustin? Like, no, my desk is just covered in magic arch right now, so I gotta dig <laughs> up the keyboard. Moose say, you like, you go and say that, and then you check your pack, and you actually use the last of your, like, piss dye. You know, the thing to test to see if there's piss in the water. You actually don't have any more left. So you can't test to see if this water does have piss in it. Did he use his keyboard and it died? Like it killed his whole thing. I guess so. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I was just getting some bad news. What's going on? Oh, you're all right. Yeah, yeah, just uh, uh my great uncle is in like the ICU. He's had like several heart attacks and everything else, and they're trying to get him stable right now. Oh, damn. Sorry. Yeah. Damn, yeah. Uh, that's all right. Uh, so what's going on? Um, you, uh, you checked your pack, and you actually used the last of the dye to test uh, if if there's pee in the water. You don't have any to test. Well, what? I don't know what item you're talking about. I, I was making you roll to see if you even had the item. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, so you don't have any more piss dye to, like, test to see if oh. there's piss in the water, because you probably okay. had some from another expose. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so, uh, you know, she's not gonna, she's not gonna go near the watch. So, uh, uh, she's still gonna watch the shady banker guy. All right. The shady banker guy, um, from what you can tell, was completely unfrazzled about what happened. He's right. just sitting there, uh, razzled de dazzleton, just drinking out of his coconut. And he laughed a couple times, but other than that, he really seemed completely not uh, worried that there was a big man that just came from a portal. Suspicious. All right. Well, that's, that's really it. Well, all right. Um, El Chad, some of the, the, uh, the kids have sort of gotten away from you. Um, what do you do as the party sort of collects around you? Well, El Chad pulls out his booze and keeps floating down the lazy river. <laughs> yeah. Oop, oop, Chilling. Oop. There is no other option. Oop. El Chad's on vacation. Yeah. He's also he's also consumed an ungodly amount of alcohol. Today. Uh, yeah, it hasn't even been 24 hours and you've consumed an unhealthy amount. Yeah. Uh, like, I, I think you should put that down. Put what down? That? That booze? What booze? I, I mean, I recognize the game you're trying to play, but somebody's no, going I'm, to be very mad and back and here I, and, I, and he I checks just, his watch. I just hand it over. About and, fifteen and more seconds. Just say take take a sip. I don't and think that's wise. No, no, uh, no. I think uh, you can take a sip. All right. Our med. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> Our med takes the booze and he puts it no, up to a, his lips. It's a coconut. It's it's just a coconut. Oh, okay. Our med takes the coconut and he puts it up to his lips and doesn't drink anything, but he. Look, you know, he just lets it touch his lips and he, he hands it back and goes, mm, very good, thank you. Do you want to make a perception check? Yes. Make a perception check. Okay. All right, there is, there is no booze in El Chad's drink for once. <laughs> Heresy mm. of the highest order. Well, Ahmed goes, hmm, well, carry on, El Chad. You're doing you're doing Yasni's work here. This is fun. And he hands the coconut back. <laughs> and he doesn't say anything. Or he doesn't let everybody know. 
and he's he's taking it easy because he needs to be hydrated. Yeah, probably because he's shit faked. <laughs> our our med is going to uh, he's going to he's gonna say, Jeeves, let's come over to this plant. Yes, yes. And uh, so, so, so what what should we do? I'm kind of concerned. I think. Is it possible to be under the dock? Yes, you can swim under it. Okay. He's going to say, that guy is going to be back here in about 15 seconds. And uh, we need to make ourselves scarce. You feel me? Oh, I I feel you, brother. Oh, sorry. I'm not supposed to. And we, I know this is hard for you. But you can't speak because he's going to know where we are. Of course, of course, Master. I will not say a word. There will not be a single note that leaves these lips. Good. Not a now one. Let's hide. All right, here I go, hiding with you underneath the dock. As, as I'm going to come around the corner. Oh, Mar Marie, do you we are hiding under the hey, dock. Jeez. Do you want me to, yes. want me to help yes, you? Yes, Master. <laughs> What'd you say, Maureen? Do you want me to help identify this thing for you? Oh, the hourglass, Master. She's talking of the hourglass. If it helps, I can do it under the water. Sure. Sure, Maureen. Let's have it out. And so he pulls it out. And uh, right. he's like, we can look at it while we hide. Here, just, just come in here. Scoot by where we are hiding what? in here. And there's like a little kid and their mom, like, and the little kid's pointing as like Maureen swims under the dock with these two grown men. As I like, I want to uh, like swim around in a suspicious and, like, fashion and like get behind. And do you mind if I hold it under the water? Yeah, just hold it right there. All right. As I'm gonna like, grab, don't don't like, shake it too much. You might I'm gonna do something I'm awful gonna, with it. I'm gonna gently hold it as I'm gonna submerge. Master, my tell her. I'm gonna submerge my entire body under the water and just ritualistically cast <laughs> identify because oh. I can breathe underwater. Okay, J don't turn it on its side, and then yes, that's that. Yes, Jeeves, and he's gonna he's gonna like glare at him and take his finger and put it over his own mouth in like the shush motion. Of course. Mm -hmm. Nothing suspicious. <laughs> and, he, and, he, and he tilts his head backwards and looks up as Marine swims down. And the little kid points and the mob like covers his eyes and walks away. <laughs> uh, and then <laughs> while all this is going on, the perfect view of it is from El Chad's perspective. <laughs> <laughs> As he comes floating by. <laughs> <laughs> no, what is Baps doing? Fucking sex pervert. <laughs> fucking disgusting. <laughs> There's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not even phased, really. <laughs> Old Jazz is like that son of a bitch. <laughs> This is so, supposed to be my time. That's how El Jen <laughs> feels. <laughs> so, uh, yes. Baps, Baps is feeling, Baps is feeling a little, little like 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 he's missed out on something. He was kind of he was uh, really hopped up for a fight for just a second there. Just him in his pajamas. And, yeah, and then. Sarugi just disappears. So he's marched over here to take a look and see if there's a portal or anything. And finding nothing, he's moved up to the platform. And yep, as there's a large diving board. He's started to do just a training exercise with a halberd on it. Kind of but it's not quite right. <laughs> his his hands are shaking and he's <laughs> Really freaking out! And then he sees something out of the corner of his eye. What, what was that? What the fuck is that? And he's gonna come down. Bug it out! Teleport, charge. Yeah, tripping out. 
public pool. Yeah, the, like children are running away. As, <laughs> as a giant and man in pajamas and a helmet with a humongous spear yeah. just rushes for him. Heard swinging, <laughs> rushing. <laughs> <laughs> You're yelling at nothing, but we see the audience zooms in, zooms in once again, and on top of a balloon is the old man. He's tiny. Shit! What are you um, doing here? It seems that I, I have been caught. I've been trapped in this <laughs> apparatus. As he pushes on it, the old man is in the balloon. If only some brave soul could come free me. Baps. And it's the balloons are way high up there. They are. So he stands on his t tippy toes. Because again, he doesn't have his flying boots. And reaches up with the halberd and pops the balloon. Psh, pops the balloon. The old man falls I'm gonna down. I'm going to catch you. I'm going to catch you. All right, make a deck save. Fifteen, you catch him. He goes, oh, you saved me. And then you see a second old man fall next to him, hit the ground, and he shatters like glass. Oh, I'm, glad, I'm glad I wasn't him. Would you like a little? Would you like a present, little boy? <laughs> Perhaps looks around from side to side. What kind of, kind of present? Yeah, sh shirt for you. Just your size. <laughs> Babs looks down at his his kind of dirty pajamas. Yeah. That are like ripped, I imagine, because you've been swinging a fucking Albert around. <laughs> <laughs> they are pretty. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take the, the green one. Then, then it is yours. And he's going to give you... I'm a, Is it the forest fortitude one? The leaf oh, pattern? Yes. All right. He, he gives it to you and he pulls it out of his sleeve. And he just keeps pulling it out of his sleeve. Because it's like a full-size shirt. Like in this tiny little man's sleeve. A particularly large one, too. Yeah. As Here, goes, give me that! His Babs is just gonna <laughs> grab grab the portion of it that's coming out and just yank now, it. When, when you do that, you yank it out of his sleeve, you accidentally let go of him, and he falls, and you pull the rest of it out, and when he hits the ground, he shatters in the glass. Oh. Oh. I feel t terrible. Oh, then you no. hear a, a voice on the wind. That's okay. I can't die. Oh. Uh, <laughs> now I'm afraid. And Babs is gonna... You, Babs is going so, to struggle to pull over... You, is it Babs, an open shirt? One thing that does happen is as you are doing that, you you see a little girl point at you and holding her mom's hand and be like, why is that man talking to himself? They're like, come this way, don't um, but it isn't it, like a button-up Hawaiian shirt, like the most typical Hawaiian shirt you could imagine. All right, Babs is going to unbutton the, the shirt of his pajamas and kind of stuff them in the, the pocket. Yeah. And then uh, he's going to pull on the, the leafy green uh, forest fortitude um, Hawaiian shirt and leave it unbuttoned. With his, right. his, his giant pale belly sticking yeah. out of it is like completely hairless chest. You do. And then when you kind of look down to like sort of make sure everything's all good, you realize you're wearing khakis and flip flops now. <laughs> <laughs> khakis, flip flops, the shirt and his helmet. Yeah. <laughs> no, your helmet's like a hat now. 
<laughs> like a uh, like a big pork pie hat with the with the red plume sticking off of it. Yeah. And, oh, you know what? And your halberd, it's a parasol. <laughs> I think I'm starting to see things, but but I'm f f f feeling a bit better. You're feeling real cool and calm. Baps is um gonna look up at the scun and realize it's very bright. And he's gonna reach down, and pick up a pair of dark glasses. That's right. There are a pair of sunglasses. You already had them. They were like in your pocket. It's an odd place. And he'll start kind of slowly jittering his way. And uh, I guess he'll, he'll see El Chad <laughs> going across, coming his way down the lazy river. Yeah. And he'll stop here. Uh, Muse, you finally get to see who's here to meet up with, uh, with the man, right? Razzle D. Dazzleton. And it's a guy you recognize because you met him earlier. It's Melvin. Oh, God damn it. As he goes, uh, oh, sorry, I'm late. I had a lot of running around to do. It's fine, lad. Don't worry. I know you're busy, especially considering some of the things that happened. But don't worry. We'll get things sorted fair and square. Elysium Financial Holding is more than willing to help Gazade Yasni with anything it needs. Uh, yes, actually, I was just going to talk over the books with you about a couple of different things. And he's like flipping through this big binder. Oh, I love binders. Uh, what is Muse doing during this quick little she thing? Ha she hasn't moved. Like, like they haven't seen me. Muse, so still... one thing, one thing you do notice, though, yeah. You don't even have to make a perception check on this. There's a little kid in this water, and he's looking at you dead in the eyes. And you don't even have to make a check for this. You know he's peeing in the lazy river. <laughs> <laughs> the end of her cigarette uh, lollipop is going to glow a little bit brighter out of rage. She's, she's just pissed. Yeah, and she's he, like, you I know what? I knew it. When you make eye contact and that happens... He gives a little smirk. He knows what he's doing. Fucking kids. All right. <laughs> oh, she's got to keep a watch that conversation. What the <laughs> she ain't going to um, tell anyone. Here, roll 2d6 for me. We're going to determine if, if, at least at this point, they're having any useful conversation. No. Uh, no, they're going over the most boring fucking thing they could possibly be talking about when it comes to finance. What's that? I don't know, Dustin. You're the accountant. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> All of it. All of it. Um, Vinny, uh, you see Ethan is being uh, resuscitated by uh, Count Strahd. Uh, what is Vinny doing? Um, what are the what are these funky boys doing? First off, are they doing anything? They're they, just relaxing. Just relaxing now over here, because they also know because they heard our men say it that that guy's coming back. So I think they're chilling out where they are. Um. Yeah, I guess Vinny's just gonna try to be doing whatever he can to help resuscitate Ethan at the moment, so we can move Don't away. Don't worry, my friend, I got it. You go have fun. All right. Uh, I guess Vinny's gonna walk over to to this bush and sit in the shade. Whatever it is, tree or something. You just sort of hang out in the shade knowing some shit's about to come back. 
Well, yeah, I mean, Vinny, Vinny basically got the guarantee that he's off the hook, so... He doesn't really I mean, have like, to worry. Listen, I'm not gonna, you know, look a gift horse in the mouth. I'm just saying. Yeah, look, you, like, know, my, you know, that's my honor's a little hurt. The whole uh, insinuation that us shell put saviors ain't heroes and alls, but. Uh... Well, I do believe he was saying like y'all's with thieves, like he was he was referring to that. I don't well, know why, but he be, didn't seem to think you, we stole nothing. I mean, and to you know, be fair, I, mean, I was actually gonna, I actually I gonna have been a thief this. before. I just, you know, not to him. Yeah, and you know what? Like, I wanted to point this out to you. We, you know, you guys have been hanging out as a big group and everything, but you know, I think sometimes people, you just gotta let other people take it. You know, you can't let just like anybody do you know, do whatever, right? Sometimes they got to take responsibility for themselves. You can't just say that, like, you're involved in everything. Yeah, I believe uh, the Don calls this uh, delegating. Yeah, delegating. Delegating life. And uh, we are delegating our tasks to relaxing, and they are delegating their tasks to, I, I don't know what it is, Pauline. Yeah, I mean, it looks like they're playing right now. Hard to tell, but, uh, you know, I'm sure they got to figure it out. Yeah, they'll figure it out. And then he's going to take another sip of his beverage. I, right. think, I think he got a hex on the beach last time. I can't remember, but I think that's what he got. Oh, the music yes. changed. It gets very quiet. Ahmed, you were the first to hear it, but the rest of you are the rest to see it. As, boom, he comes slamming back down. This time over here. Ah! Knaves, tricked me, befouled and befuddled my mind. How dare you? Yeah. Dreamwalker, Ahmed. I know. Oh, uh, hey. Uh, he kind of looks around awkwardly, and then he turns to you, Baps. Uh, where uh, do you know where he went? Who? Who? The the Dreamwalker, uh, Ahmed, the uh, the big one, is over there. I have the foggiest notion. Hey! And he kind of do, 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 walks over to you, tilting his head in kind of an awkward angle. You look familiar. You don't. Um, I suppose that's true. Uh, and he stands up. Uh, where did they go? Why don't Want to fight? <laughs> ah. So you are a warrior then. Well, pray, warrior. Tell me your name. Oh, I, 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 I'm uh, a Baps uh, Plinkert, and, and I'm on vacation by, by mistake. Baps Plinkert. Uh, well, uh, and he looks confused again, and then he fumbles in his pouch for something. One moment. And he scurries. Go, go, go. And I'm going to see here. He pulled out a piece of paper. It looks like just a normal ass piece of paper. Let's see here. One. Muffin. Yours. Linkard. You! And he flips around, pulling out his halberd. You stole my armor, thief, and hide your appearance so that I may not know you, so that you may surprise attack me, eh? Well, I ask you now, if you be an honorable knight, then return my armor, the armor of plots to me. That old thing? Oh, it, it's, it, it's b b busted. Uh, useful, uh though. You tried to trick me once, but it will not work a second time. I think we're Reveal it, well. for I know that you have the armor hidden on your person. 
Babs looks down at his cargo shorts <laughs> and pulls the pockets inside out. I, 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 so, so, sorry, dude. That that uh, that thing's busted. That, 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 wait. Uh, um, and he kind of like loses his his composure a bit. Oh, is that? Uh, um, are you are are you sure you? It, you don't have it. Uh, are, are you from Talon Brian? Uh, you look a little bit mechanical. No, I am from a place far beyond your mind. The dreamscape. A land beyond this, beyond comprehension. And it is my duty to collect my artifacts so that I may... Uh, um, uh, so I may... Uh, wait, 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 what? And he, he stumbles around a bit. Uh, well, um, it, that, that's not important. All that matters is that I collect them back. These items, and he holds up a list. I, I, I got a list. I, I made it. Uh, that, that's nice. That, how'd you do um, that? And here is what the list says. Probably wrote it. Ooh, not the Gilgamesh part. I wrote that. For my own sake. Oh, wow. It's in Bap's yard. Some, some chat. deep cl yeah. cuts. These items were stolen from me, from the dreamscape. And for it is my duty to recollect them. And with that, I may regain my former uh, um, quest, uh, job. It doesn't matter. Who the hell's Bleeder? Ah, Bleeder. A most tricky one. He stole my ring of chameleon. An artifact that would allow me to hide no matter the location or perception of it. B Babs looks the ten foot tall <laughs> uh, robotic samurai warrior up and down. Uh, I, I, I guess that'd be p pretty c convenient. Hey, um, you know that that's El Chad floating down the river right there. <laughs> he turns around. El Chad, what do you do as he's turning? Do, do I do I hear what's going on with this list? Yes, you he's, can hear it. He's on vacation by, by mistake, do I, too. Do I hear that my longsword's on it? Yes. All right, El Chad's going to get out of the water. Okay. And he's going to start walking over. Good luck, El Chad. A warrior finally <laughs> fit to do battle. This guy wasn't to, to talk to you. Did you pull out your sword? No, not yet. All right. Are you the warrior El Chad? The one who holds my most famed blade? Now, hang on. When did you lose this? <laughs> I lost it. Uh, it um, um, well, it was... Uh, it, I, I lost it. It doesn't matter. All that matters is that the item is returned to me. Um, he seems genuinely confused as to when he lost it. Um, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure you got this item mistaken. I uh, fired this uh, about six or seven years ago. Uh, are you trying to trick him into thinking it's not the thing he's looking for? Or are you genuinely, like, does El Chad believe this isn't it? No, I mean, I, I legitimately got this sword years and years and years ago from an estate. <laughs> like, <laughs> Alright, roll a persuasion check. Alright. Uh, a 10, hold on. I'll roll fantastic persuasion check. 
he doesn't know, so... Um, well then perhaps you don't know of its true, uh, origin. Uh, simply put, it is my item, and I would like it returned to me. But if you are truly a warrior, then I suppose we can do something about it. Let's see. What if we had a challenge? Yes, an honorable challenge. I challenge you to a task, one of your choosing, to prove who should be the true owner of the blade. Okay. Any task of my choosing. Correct. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. All right. My character's too stupid to think about a magnet challenge. <laughs> uh, you're from the dreamscape? <laughs> yes. Hey, hey, our med. <laughs> What, what Do you I lean talk? over the dock and talk to our man? <laughs> I'm just, yeah, I'm just kind of like leaning over. Just like, Shut the hey, fuck up! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold on, I'm going to have him roll a perception too, just to see if he notices. <laughs> yeah, he's what? Boop, boop, boop. And he kind of leans over. <laughs> there you are, you skittering roach. Hey, leave them under the water. In fact, I will. Whoops. Does, does Marine come up from under the water? Nope. <laughs> Marine's, Marine's sim swimming away. You see her do it. I'm staying uh, under the cover of the bridge. Oh. Oh. Yes. We are down here uh, enjoying a little swim. <laughs> What's up? Hey, this did you get says, your did you get your hourglass? Guy says he's from the dreamscape. Yeah, I believe it. So he says you. The sword that I've had for years is his. Well, although he doesn't know anything about it. Well, do you know where you got it? Yeah. Oh. Well, and he looks over at at uh, the 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 construct and he says uh, why don't you believe him? I believe he does not know of what he holds, but I know you do. Well, Having lied uh, and befuddled my mind with your magics. Uh, well, uh, uh, and so he, Ahmed's kind of stammering and Jeeves pops around and he goes, well, we, we didn't lie per se. Uh, and, uh, he's trying to see what the construct's reaction is with that. He's like, we, we, we didn't mean to lie. We didn't exactly lie. Roll an insight check. Okay. An insight with a 15, he kind of, uh, you see him sort of go, uh, 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 how, how, how so? See, sorry, it's it's just that you you came in here all aggressive, like man, you know. We're just <laughs> trying to have vacation, and I mean, truth be told, you're pretty scary. And uh, I mean, yes, I did cast a spell, friends, to make it seem like we were friends, and I apologize for that. I truly do. I'm sorry. But no, make a persuasion uh, check. Okay. I Help. Look, here's the deal. I know you don't believe me I, that we are sorry, and I actually will say this. I'm I'm actually not sorry. We're we are not sorry. We were scared of you, <laughs> and that's the truth. 
uh, we did fully intend to use that spell to our advantage. But I will say this. We didn't lie to you. Shabethany really does have it. Do you and, think uh, that the same ploy would trick me twice? <laughs> he goes, well, did you talk to her? I happened to. Oh, hold on. One moment. And he turns around. Yes. <laughs> Perhaps. Were we going to fight? Like, you, you, you just walked walked away. You did go talk to El Chad. You didn't want to talk to me, me, me anymore. I thought we were going to fight. No, oh, I was, um, real intimidating. Okay. Rolling up. <laughs> he goes, oh, oh, well, I, I was in the middle of trying to find it, it, Saul. It's, 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 it's just kind of rude. I mean, it, it, I mean, we were talking and, you, you know, I pointed out El Chad and you just, you, you just left. You didn't say goodbye or good, good, good day or... That is it, true. We were going to fight. I, I thought so. I'm not even sure I want to anymore. Well, no, no, no don't be like that. I, mean, come on, I like, love a challenge. I would I, love I, to. I, 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 I get, I get you know, there's a free free bar over there. I'm going to just, just go, just go drink, drink some more. No, if you want us to fight right now, we can. I, I don't know, we can I, I, fight, I like have a legendary battle. One that takes days, nay, weeks, nay, even years. Years? This battle will be legendary. Hey, look, look, uh, hmm. I'll, I'll tell you, tell you what, uh, <laughs> Babs is kind of at a uh, loss for words. I, I'm a, a little busy for, for that. Can, can we get one that takes maybe like a, a 60 seconds? 120? Sounds like a plan. Where should we do battle at? Perhaps uh, Babs looks at uh, Count Strahd and he's like, he, he really doesn't want us to fight here. No, I would really prefer it if you did. But you know how Yasnik paladins are. You do what you got to do. I, apparently, it's insured. What, whatever the hell that means. <laughs> well, then we shall battle then, here and now. Oh, um, okay. uh, 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 let, let me get it ready. <laughs> Babs is gonna waddle to the other side of the platform here. All right, he's gonna leap over here. Boom. All right. Um. Uh, <laughs> Babs is gonna. What's everybody else doing? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So before this happens, because he will a hundred percent fight Babs. Does anyone else want to get involved <laughs> or do anything while he's distracted? Because Sarugi is a hundred percent distracted at this point. I I am casting invisibility on myself and I am leaving the space. And I'm just going to identify the item in peace. <laughs> Marine. You do Wait. not see me disappear. <laughs> and Marine just, is gone. Do you walk through the woods by this horrible furboid? Honestly, no. I wanted to end up like on the beach, just kind of like walk past him quietly, but my stealth is not high enough to do that. I'm just going to walk by... I'm just going to take the scenic route to be able to go to the beach. Um, are, what about El Chad? What is El Chad doing? El, El Chad is going to look at Babs. He's going to kind of give him a maybe look. And, uh, you know, he's going to come over here and grab a seat. Uh, or he's going to come lean against the rail and drink his uh, coconut water. All right. While you're leaning there, El Chad, make a perception check. All right. Here, cheat. And perception. <laughs> uh, Gotta love you, it. You, you take a sip. 
And as you do, you think you were about to see something, but you actually see what looks like Jeeves helping Ahmed climb up to the dock. And like, he's like pushing on his butt and like trying to like lift Aww. him up so he can get up there. And they're kind of like climbing on there and more kids are looking and just shaking their heads. Even the kids are disappointed now. <laughs> uh, but while that happens, what is uh, Jeeves and Ahmed doing? Jeeves and Ahmed are uh, relatively uh, relieved, I guess. Marine has the hourglass and she's left. And they know that this man has no quarrel with them. Or at least that's how they feel. <laughs> yeah. Even though he doesn't believe that you don't have the hourglass. Correct. <laughs> because you did befuddle his mind. <laughs> um, Vinny? Uh, has, Vinny has Ethan been resuscitated yet? He has. He has sort of made his way back. What's a good roll to roll to see if we just do shrooms together? Roll 2d6. 2d6, right perfect. The shrooms. Man, I ate them all. Damn. Well, you know, probably for the best. I've, I've never tried them before. Might be kind of messed up. Yeah, it really fuck you up, mom. Would you call me? Huh? Party and slip up. No, no, nothing, nothing. Dude, I... Holy shit. I didn't... Dude, I don't want to freak you out. But I think there's a little man on your shoulder. <laughs> want to take a look at each of my shoulders? I'm assuming I see nothing. Dimwon is standing on one shoulder. Oh. Him? Yeah, he, uh... He's my boss. Yeah, I'm his fucking butt. Dude, can he actually see me? Oh, fuck, he's talking, man. Yeah, I think he Dude, can. I, normally, I'm not, like, he shouldn't be able to see me. He must be really fucking wanked out of his gourd. Hey, Ethan, let me ask you something. Do you, uh... Do you speak, like, uh, Abyssal or something? Yeah, my, uh, like, my cousin was Abyssal. Well, that explains a lot, actually. <laughs> yeah. Well, we better find he, a good well, seat I mean, for the fight. He's not, he's not Abyssal, but he did date an Abyssal. That's like a quarter Abyssal. Yeah, so like I'm like a quarter Abyssal because of it. Well, uh, we better go get a good seat for this fight. Yeah. He pulls out another shroom and he eats it. Hey, man. Are you holding out on me? <laughs> you know, that was my last one. They always say that. Uh, empty your pockets. Let's let's see. Let's see how honest you're being with me right now. Hey, 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 hey. He empties his pockets and... 12 shrooms fall out of his pockets. <laughs> All right, Vinny's just going to well, grab a, a handful of them. They're shiitake! And he's going to eat, like, half of the handful that he grabs. All right, roll a wisdom save. <laughs> Good thing Vinny isn't very wise. Although he does have proficiency. I mean, they they give you a little buzz, but you're not, like, totally out of your gourd. These are all right, you know. I've I've had better, not mushrooms, but better. Oh, it should the taki. <laughs> yeah, that's shit. All right. Tastes a little earthy if you catch my drift. Yeah, boy. Uh, Muse, are you still listening to the uh, the two of them talking? Yeah. All right. Roll two d six. She's not Unless you want to do something else. Uh, uh, she'll just do that. She doesn't want to cross that water. Okay. God forbid those bridges break and then she has to cross that pee-filled pool. Um, you hear them talking and the only thing you really 
get out of the conversation is when uh, Razzle D. Dazzleton mentions a couple of times when he's talking about like the Elysian of financial holding and who needs to make and approve certain transactions. He mentions the name. Where is it? Crap, where is it? I lost it. Damn it. Oh, I know it's in here. He mentions the name Monty Glitz. Gotcha. Monty Glitz. Um, he particularly mentions the name when it when he's talking about approving big sums of things, like big big amount of money, if a big amount of sort of like guards or supplies. Um, it seems like this Monty Glitz is in charge of like most like he has to approve this big order from Elysium Financial Holding. Gotcha. All right. And then that leaves Baps. Baps, as he's sort of getting ready, pulling out his uh, his large halberd or his, his glaive, I mean, he uh sort of looks at you real close and looks at your weapon. What is that most auspicious of weapons? It's, it's an old uh, giant uh, Albert. It, at least it was. The <laughs> side of that? it. What's that? The side of, the side of it. It fills me with a covetous desire. I challenge you for that blade. Uh, hey, fair's fair. What, 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 what do I win? If, if I win, because I'm gonna, gonna. <laughs> A worthy thought, but uh, if you succeed, then I suppose I could give you. And he kind of like, mm, let's see, it. Uh, digs around in his pouch, um, which seems a lot deeper than what it is. Um, I could give you a legendary item. It better be good. I mean, the, 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 this thing's great. It's a crafts... Or, uh, it's an item made of the highest quality from Sea Dwarf uh, Dunamancy. I mean, I mean, hey, you know, uh, so is that armor I busted. <laughs> All the more reason. He actually seems very irritated you talked about busting that armor up. Veritable oh, pearl cast before swine. Hey, well, it's, it's not my fault. I, I lost it k killing a god. <laughs> and you are a warrior. Fine. And he digs in his pouch and pulls out the thing he was talking about. The craftsman thing made by the highest of sea dwarf technology. Um, when he pulls it out, it's this large, colorful uh, surfboard that um, floats in the air, and he kind of whistles, and it swirls around into the air, uh, flying seemingly on its own. If you defeat me, then I will give you this. It, 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 it's nice and all, but it, usually I can can already fly for a little bit. But this has more use than some fancy flight of boots. For when yeah. you want, you can call upon it and it will come to you or anyone you direct. So I mean, basically, I mean, it's like a it's like a flying animated surfboard. I mean, you 
you gotta get yeah, something, something better than that, right? Vaps um, is holding out. Vaps is holding out. Make a persuasion. Armad yells, yeah, give him something good. All right, I'll give you advantage on this persuasion then. All right. Um, let's see here. And he kind of digs around, uh, trying to find something else. Have you? Uh, <laughs> I don't know quite what to do. I didn't have many other items. <laughs> Uh, how'd you? I got uh, this. Uh, eh. <laughs> well, what am I gonna do with that? I already have one. Of, and then Baps uh, waves around the halberd, which does indeed look like a parasol right now. Um, what about these? And he pulls this out. <laughs> you, you just ha have all this stuff. Why, why, why do you want my, my stuff? Because your blade fills me with a covetous desire. Without it in my hands, I will be unable to think of anything else. Man, that... You gotta get some, some, some help for that. What about this? Has Armed got away yet? What's going on? Like... Armed's, Armed's standing there. <laughs> okay, Armed's, so Armed's in a beach for... chair. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, are you guys going to fight? You can buy a 50 gold cheeseburger. You got you, you got a lot of really c cool stuff, but what's on the line is you know, uh, and, and, and virtue. I'll t t tell you what. You, I'll g give you this, and and if you win, you you, you g give me mm, a, a, a title. I'll take a, a title. Uh, a title. That sounds fair. If you defeat me. I will bestow upon you one of my titles of, of uh, a blade master. Sure. Um. Well, where, where do we where do we start? At the beginning. Uh, and we're gonna roll initiative then. Foo, twenty one. Not likely. Y y y y your move. He is going to uh, leap forward. As okay. Um, and as he does, I think he is just fighting you with his glaive. So he's just going to swing his glaive out at you. Damn. He's got a fucking 15 foot reach, huh? Yep. Nah. He, he goes to swing the glaive at you. And the he, parasol opens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and it he, away. He slips and falls prone. <laughs> Damn, this guy's gonna... Seriously, though, this guy's gonna hit me unless he rolls a one. Because nah. <laughs> my yeah. armor is busted. All right, he will lose one of his three multi-attacks. Uh, and stand up again, and he's going to swing one more glaive at you. 17? 17 uh, makes it exactly. As he whoo, swings across you, slicing you for 22 damage. 22 damage. Uh, 
Does my Hawaiian shirt count as heavy armor? Uh, probably not, right? <laughs> I don't know. It's it's your magic item. I know. I make these magic. <laughs> it ain't it ain't heavy. I'll say that it's flowy and nice. So that is one downside. Okay, so straight twenty two. No, I, I actually have... wrote it on here. It says counts as light armor. Okay. So I have 12 temporary hit points. Okay, cool. All right. Oh, Baps is in trouble with this one. All right. Is that his turn? Uh, that is his turn. Okay. Baps is going to come in. He's going to get in close, actually. All right, make an insight check with advantage on this. Okay. Um, only a 10. A 10. All right. Uh, as you come walking up, you don't quite notice it, um, but you're used to this style of thing as he takes the glaive and whoop, swings it around. It was when a creature has been 10 feet. Okay, so yeah, can use its reaction. A 23. Ah, oh, 23 is going to hit. Uh, for 27. Fuck. All right. Here, let me put this up here. Um. Okay. Minus 27. Oops, that was 37. Okay, rough stuff. And my speed is zero now, huh? Yeah. Son of a bitch. Well, that busts my plan. Um... Uh... As he hits you with kind of a kind of a nasty hit. Yeah. Shit. All right. Um. Worth a shot. Uh. So Baps is gonna go in for the attack. Let me see. I'm not blessed. I'm not using any of that. Okay. Fuck. That's gonna she hit. It. So it's gonna do a uh, fourteen magical slashing, and then he's gonna throw down a trip attack. So I know it's not likely. Um, but he makes a strength saving throw, right? Yeah. Is he large? Actually. Actually, he's huge. Uh, so that. So if you want, you can take it back. You can take it back. Yeah. Can I? Can a huge creature be pushed? Yeah, he can still be pushed. Okay. Well, I can't push him because I'm uh, too far away. Oh. All right, so he'll I'll, he'll take the he'll take the fourteen. All right, he um, takes and it. Then stumbles back. Bows. Swing again for a twenty-one. That'll hit. Only a nine. All right. He'll swing again for a 23. That'll hit as well. For 17. <laughs> and... Oh, you know what? I will use a superiority dice. This is a good call. I'll... Let me see here. Uh, it might not work. Hmm. We'll try it anyways, when you hit a creature with a weapon attack. Okay, so, uh, the butt of the parasol comes up and goes to hit him into the face. <laughs> it's gonna hit. As you poop. Oh, it. And Bap screams, Title is mine, f -f fucker! And he is going to menacing attack. He makes a wisdom saving throw. Uh, oh, that's God. A 23. Ah, uh, that's going to pass. Oh, wait, hold on. 
need to look. I do stuff. add. I actually, something else might happen instead of that. Sorry. Okay. I do add. It actually works in your favor. I, I didn't put anything on here that says it's one or the other, but I guess he has to fail to save for that to happen. Okay, never mind. Sorry. Right. He passed it, so nothing happened. He I doesn't do seem like he's easily fr frightened, but he does look a little confused. That would be two. Uh, I'm going to add three damage to that attack. All right. Um, I put it past that. Poof. Not, not looking too hot. All right. And I believe that's going to be his go. All right. But uh, other people rolled initiative. I'm assuming because other people want to want to roll in here. Is that the idea? Yeah, kind of. All right. Well, we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll say that that first one was just the two of them in initiative. Now this one is the new initiative with other people added to it. So that first round went through. Now it's Ahmed. Ahmed goes, kick his ass, Babs, and uh, gives him a bardic inspiration. Right. That's a D6 to what? Should be a D12. Let me check. Oh, crap. I got to check. I got to look at it. Look That's at fine. Level. I'm pretty sure it's a D12. I'm going to play the different music. Yeah, it's funky. Ooh. It's fu Ooh, ah. Maybe Ooh. I should save this. I feel like I should save this song. This one's nice. <laughs> yeah, I I'm going to go back with the other one just for now. I'm going to save that because I got another encounter I want to use it for. <laughs> can roll a die and add the number rolled to one ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. Is that done after or before the roll? I think before. Uh, it's Okay. I mean, I would do it after. It just makes it simpler. Whichever. Yeah, it's a d12. Okay, d12 it is. Uh, anything else, Armed? Oh, no. Kick his ass, Babs! And, uh, and that was... That Jeeves isn't doing nothing? But Jeeves goes, Oh! Oh! Do your best out there! But yeah, he doesn't um, do anything. Babs right. cracks a beer. Well, then if you want the title of Blade Master, then I suppose you'll have to deal with some blades. And he slams the glaive, the glaive next to him because he does have six arms. He reaches into his back and he's going to pull one of the chosen blades. For you shall take on Excalibur! And he pulls out this large, beautiful sword. Wait, this is an Excalibur? It's Excalibur! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a blast! And he swings it at you. I mean, 34 is gonna hit for sure. All right, you ready for this? Yes. Deal zero damage. <laughs> Make a con save. All right. <laughs> what? Do I have... I mean, it's two. Okay, con save. You pass as it swipes across you, Baps. You feel like it went right through your body, but then nothing happened. Yeah, blast. <laughs> That's hilarious. And he takes the glaive and swings it at you. Yeah, 31's going to hit. Not for 25 damage. 25. He makes two glaive attacks. So, oh. Oh, oh this damn, gonna, man. This is going to really hurt. For, uh, that's 39 damage. So, minus 25. And minus 39. All right, Baps is looking very bloodied. He can't take much more of this. All right. Mm. All right. That's it for him, El Chad. It's, uh, fucking hell. 
Oh, make a perception check on Chad, because you're still looking in the location. Don't see if you see it this time. All right. Uh, 17. 17. As you look around, you notice a sign. Um, the sign is actually sitting over here by where this ball is. And it says, no unauthorized jumping into the pool. Jumpers will be banished from Barovia. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um... Alright, I'm gonna try something then. Please, please just tell Baps about it. <laughs> uh, oh, let me read this spell real quick. Uh, higher levels. Okay, I only need to cast this to level one. Command. Cannonball. <laughs> Alright. It <laughs> is a. Answer. It is a wisdom save, I believe. So he's yeah. he's got a good roll on it, but there's still a very good chance he could fail. I will <laughs> hold off on saying anything in case, like, I don't know if you have anything or Vinny has every, anything, so I'll leave it at it. A 17! <laughs> <laughs> no. One off! He, his mechanical arms start, like, whirling as he starts to try to fight from turning away from Bass. What devilish sorcery is this? Where are you, where are you what, going? What is this cannon ball? <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you get the impression he is going to cannonball on his turn. Hell yeah. Man, that's, <laughs> that's all Chad does. <laughs> okay, Babs. Does this end if he takes damage? Uh, I don't think so. It doesn't say it does. Okay. No, it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hilarious. Well, Babs is going to keep doing what he was doing then. He's going to move in. All right. B -b -b my turn. Bap says, fucking spitting. He's not wearing his helmet anymore, so he's kind of just spitting blood. Yeah. And he's going to move in, and he's going to uh, push Sarugi prone, or attempt to. All right. We're going to have a strength contest. Yeah, I believe uh, it's athletics, isn't it? It's athletics, I mean. He got right. a 16, which isn't it, high. No, uh, Baps has advantage on this because of the vitality potion, I believe. I believe so. So at 26. <laughs> you. What are you? And you like shove him prone. Because obviously part of it is he's fighting with the spell, but the other part of it is you're just like fucking roided out. <laughs> yeah. He's just like slowly trying to crawl to the end of the yeah. diving board. Yeah. Baps trips him and pushes him down. Yeah. Boom. Sw swings a, a, a mighty hit and he lets go of the parasol and as he does in a great swing down it grows to tremendous size as he tries to slam it down on the, his back and so that will be and that will unfortunately still miss as you swing well, it down at him doesn't he, doesn't he have advantage because oh, he's prone you're right Advantage, you're right. Never mind, that hits. Boom! Yeah. What you get? <coughs> yeah. And he's gonna swing again. For uh, that, hold on. So that's an 18. I'm not gonna say anything. But he is going to add a precision attack to it. All right. So, an 18. Actually, he's gonna, he's gonna save. He's gonna save his precision attack and just use the uh, the bardic inspiration, right? Yeah, you could do that. 
Nice. That's going to make it a hit. So okay. another 24 damage. Oh! He's going to hit him with the haft. For Wham! a crit. For a crit. Which is, got another 24. Oh! What a, an embarrassing that's why as you're like Bap kicking his ass while he's on his back Babs is gonna action surge <laughs> oh god swing at him again for another that's crit gonna, that's oh. gonna fucking hit oh. ooh, 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 ooh. one two three four <laughs> five six seven so that's alright okay okay yeah fucking <laughs> whale on him Bass is just wailing out. <laughs> wait! Wait, just one! Oh, he drove! For a 25. That's gonna hit. Alright. Uh, so that's... <laughs> I'm gonna judge just a moment! <laughs> <laughs> so that's two. He gets one more. Uh, oh, up. Oh, 11. I think there's the tiniest possibility. So he's going to use uh, that um, precision attack now, just in case. All right. Just just to get the full 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 Monty on it. So here's hoping for a ten. I believe it's a D ten. Yeah. Come on, ten. Six. No. So that'll be 17. 17 does not, unfortunately. So the last one, he like grabs it. Yeah, just a moment. Oh. Uh, and I, th I think that's Bap's turn. I, th I think that's all his attacks he's he can make. Um. <laughs> Vinny. Vinny. Snaps his fingers and Bella comes out onto the field as soon as I find the token. Summons. Here we go. Maybe not. Uh, oh, there he is. Derp. That looks like it's within 30 feet of me. Is it? 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah. You go one more. Yo, Bella, uh, get ready, get in position, and get ready to touch Babs. And uh, he'll use his uh, forty feet of flying speed to move, quote unquote, in position. All right. And that's Vinny's turn. All right, uh, our bed. You see him struggling over there. Uh, Ahmed. Baps he... hits him like he he gets like he's about to stand up, and then you see like Baps hit him, and he goes, "Oh, stand and deliver." <laughs> You're doing great, bud. And uh, Ahmed. Ahmed uses uh, minor illusion and uh, causes the hourglass to appear floating right here in the water. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This works out fucking perfect. And is that it for our med? Yeah. All right. It gets to him. He can't yeah, get enough of this. Um, um, oh, oh, right now, now hold on. And he gets hit one more time as Baps is like wailing on him. And then he turns. He sees the hourglass. He knows the command that he's supposed to do. And so there is only one thing he does. He goes, Stand. Until next time. And he sort of gets on all of his, um, like, because he's on his back. So he actually, like, stands up like a roach and just kind of like, scurries really quick. And he's going to whoo, leap into the air basically sight unseen and then comes slamming down into this pool 
And when he does, he bursts into a, a, a spectacle of shimmering light um, as he is returned back to the dreamscape. Um, but Baps, as you're standing there, you get this kind of feeling like wash over you, like, damn, I something happened. And falling from the sky, boom, 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 boom a blade lands on the ground. It's Excalipur. <laughs> eep, eep. Did you drop this knife? When you touch it, it disappears, turning to shimmering light and appears as a tattoo on your arm. As a bonus action, once per day, you can summon Excalibur and attack with it. <laughs> well, I'm... this is what a Scalibur does, by the way. <laughs> hey, I mean that's a that's a one twentieth chance, right? Five percent. Worse if you impose disadvantage on somebody. Yes. Huh. It's gonna be perfect with the uh, uh, the mind sliver. Well, I I'm a, a little confused as to what happened there, but I I, I get I guess I won. And Babs Babs looks at the uh, the sign. What does the sign say exactly? <laughs> the sign says no unauthorized jumping. Unauthorized jumpers will be banished from Barovia. He reads it, and he looks at the diving board and thinks, oh, what, do I need a permit or something? <laughs> and walks over to El Chad. You need a permit. Yeah, I wouldn't dive in there if I were you. I will say, Baps, you do got this cool, like, sword tattoo on your arm now. Hey, 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 hey look, El Chad. I, I got a, a tattoo on vacation. Were you drunk? Um, I mean, I, technically. I, I'm still f feeling a l little jittery, but I, I c could, could drink more. Uh, in fact, and he looks down... In fact, I, I can use, use urgent medical attention. <laughs> and Babs kind of falls over. El Chad just looks around, yells, Get this man a drink. There's only <laughs> one man for the job. <laughs> <laughs> As Count Strahd bravely turns into a bat, flies over, and he gives you medical attention. He, it's a living. He, he didn't have a permit. He did not, my friend. He did not. <laughs> and then he stands there awkwardly for a moment. And then he comes down and actually starts doing first aid on you. <laughs> All right, that... I'm just going to break character here and say that that was pretty awesome. Uh. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> fucking cannonball. <laughs> yeah. It worked out so fucking good. I was like, damn, this is fucking great. <laughs> and I want to point out, so I have a syst I had a system in place where you pull out different swords. And the idea was like, oh, if you beat him, like you'll get whichever sword he had out. And the fucking Excalibur is like the least one that you can roll the least on. And I was like, man, that's so fucking cool. I love Excalibur. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Blade, Blade Master, I guess. Um, as Baps, you, you are technically a Blade Master now. That's what the tattoo is about. Dude, that guy's a badass. What did you roll? Fucking 201 bludgeoning damage for that leap? Yeah, Hardcore. it does an unbelievable amount of damage. 
but he does have a thing, which is that he has to make a perception check. Uh, our creatures may make a perception check before he lands to figure out where he is or where he's landing. And if no one's where he's landing, he slams into the ground and gets stuck. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but, uh, uh, oh, Chad, as this has happened and everybody's kind of winding down, you feel a, a breeze come by, almost as if you have solved the Yasnik problem in this area. Ah. I guess I got better notify that fucking nerd <laughs> so he can leave me alone to keep drinking. Um, and you do see that nerd. You almost sense him. <laughs> the the Yaznik nerd note sort of flowing off of him. The words of TPS reports and <laughs> documentation and accounting and where our money should actually come from and be is floating through your head. Um, as you see him over here just chatting away. All right, Elchad's going to slowly walk over there if anybody oh, else uh, hey old chad how you doing well i uh solved your problem over here i i did uh see that um oh actually oh uh, sorry i just want to razzle d down i'm just gonna talk with old chad here real quick so i did what you said all right okay um i talked with the yakuza Okay. And they uh, they made me drink out of a toilet and uh, said they would beat me up if they saw me again. Okay. And they didn't believe a damn word I said. Uh, and that, th by the way, I, I didn't mean to get blue there. That was their words, not mine. Um, and then I went to go tell the orcs and the orcs shot arrows at me. But I did find out where they are. Ah, so you failed in both your missions? Now I did didn't fail. Ran into complications. Uh, as, as you can see, actually in the Yaznik handbook, uh, ya, uh, paladins of Yazni do not fail. They only meet complications. Did you pass paladin school? Well, I mean, I am in charge of a lot of the sort of bookwork that goes into uh, a lot of the paladin uh, creeds and odes. Uh, but, uh, I mean, if you want to talk about it logistically, uh, no, I did not. I did try a couple of times. I did fail the physical exam, but I believe the written exam I did quite good on. So you're not a paladin? Uh, no. No. That, that is that is correct that yes um and el chad you don't have to make a roll on this there isn't a written part of the exam they just do that for nerds it's like a <laughs> hazing thing they just they just give it to the guys that they know aren't gonna pass <laughs> yeah so they feel better about yeah <laughs> okay well you tried your best and you know yeah. yeah. Tell you what, I almost failed that essay portion. Oh, it was pretty rough, but I, I got through. Yeah, I just wrote a, you know, they, they were asking me, uh, how do you how do you kill an entire encampment of orcs? And I said, uh, you know, just Yazdi got my hand, hundred percent. So, <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, I remember I sat in on um, uh, on actually a really interesting one. It was uh, by uh, Danver Daniel. You remember Danver Daniel? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Danver yeah, Daniel. Yeah. He he uh, really did love his. Um, it was talking about the benefits of the uh, sort of Yasnik agriculture and how we could actually use branding for uh, like. You know, actually taking care of livestock, like tracking livestock and things like that, and not so much for them. So he's going to just keep talking if you don't stop him. 
Uh, I'm just gonna kind of walk off as he's babbling. Oh, just uh, all right. Oh, 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 here, and he's gonna run up to you real quick. One thing. Uh, here is the map to where the orcs are. Uh, and here is uh the. Uh, tickets to the Calamity of the Circus. You were supposed to have some of these. Um, I think I actually saw a couple of your friends heading that way. And uh, and this is where the Yakuza were last seen, which is uh, over by this orphanage, uh, the Moon Glow Orphanage. So, you know, if you could just get to there at any point, you know, if you're free, be a big help. Or like, uh, you know, the betterment of the community. You're now. I notice you're not looking at me. You said we'll walk up. You know, he's uh-huh. embezzling from you, right? Well, actually, you know what? That's a great point. Uh, El Chat, I wanted to talk to you about uh, some of the money you've actually been borrowing uh, for the last couple of years. And he pulls out this fucking big ass binder, and there's a tag that says uh, El Chad on it. Uh, there's a couple of weird purchases that have been made. Mise is gonna quickly grab those from him. Oh no! I, now, oh, hold on. What's that? Athletics. I <laughs> make an athletics oh. against against his. Hold on, I gotta find his sheet. Where is where's my boy, Melvin? And athletics. Oh, let me get his athletics. All right. Nope. That's, no. Oh, now hold on. Um. Uh, she's uh, gonna quickly like flip through the book real quick. Flipping through the book in front of the cat. Um, and then toss it in the fire. Help, oh, Chad. Yes. As you flip through the book, you notice a couple of purchases. Um, some of them are ones that you are very well aware of, okay. right? Some of them are from your paladin days. You were doing seminars and fundraisers that were maybe just Fun actual research. benders uh, yeah. like you you just used them it was funding for you like one time maybe you got hurt i don't know maybe you tell me what, what are some of these what are uh, some of these purchases there's just a lot of like it, it's just like yazdic business dinner yeah like yazdic business tavern like Yasnik business dinner, and it's just like uh, over and over and over again. Yeah, there's tons of them. Um, and they go all the way up until you get to the keep. Um, there are were there were some uh, Yasnik funds that were put towards the keep. I don't know if you remember that back when yeah. Officer had the keep in. Um, but then you notice something interesting, which is after the keep. There was more purchases. Um, it's it was for you, but it looks like it was signed uh, by somebody with a. They just wrote an initial, this very stylish looking V. A V. Yes. Who do I know with a V? Vivian. Is it Vivian? That bitch looks like she would be the one to flourish her V's. You can make a uh, history check to see if you remember. Who do I know with a V? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Uh, let's see. Seventeen. A seventeen. Who would have access to the keep and with a V? And it's at this point you realize a lot of these funds came from Vom. Oh, your request. Damn it. Uh, but before you can really get a, a full notion of how much money he spent poof, into the fire. Ah, uh, no. Oh, I'm going to have to no, the no archives. And she'll nudge, like, she'll nudge El Chat. Look, no embezzlement, no proof. He's just cuckoo. 
I got you, El Chad. A wink. Well, uh, I, they were a copy. I can just go back to the archives back in Hemdelir. I get some more. Uh, it's just going to be a bit of a... Mommy, kill this guy. Now, She's actually, looking for Chad. Want me to kill him? You're not? Now, Chad. He's... He's, she's not allowed to do that. I want to, I want to make that clear. I'm not allowed to be killed. Yeah, you can't kill some. You can't murder somebody if it's not illegal to kill them. Now, as in in the Osdic scripture, as you well know, uh, uh, us DDs, uh, the designated deacons, are not allowed to be killed because quote, uh, who else would do the boring paperwork stuff? That's just technically true. Uh, but... Yeah, you can't kill him. All right. Yet. Yeah. He's like sweating a little. Uh, I but... don't want to kill him anyhow. Okay, listen, listen, just could you maybe deal with one of these? Like, uh, forget the circus for, for a bit. He pulls that paper out. I mean, maybe like could you at least handle the orcs or or something? Okay. I'll take a look at El Chad looks around trying to figure out whether the boys want to do the orcs or they want to do the uh... Alright, well here we can have everybody collect up. Yeah. <laughs> thank, thank you, Strahd. No I, problem. I, I, if I really you ever like, want to come on by, you're more than welcome. It, it's it's a wonderful little uh, 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 little little place you got here. Yes, it is quite uh, stimulating. And char char charming, really. Yes. And if you like, on Wednesdays we run a little adventure for fun. Oh, yeah? Yes. I, I we call it. Say, say something else. Yeah. We, we call it Coast of Strahd. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a fun little game that I make. Did he, did, did, did he chase people or? No, we play it with. Little miniatures that we paint ourselves. Oh, that, that, that's great. Um, yes, and Nas, I am... Nas has been working on making those, but, but, but I've never been able. They are very interesting. I am playing a rather daring uh, salary man who is trying to figure out what the devilish count is up to. If, if we're, we're still here well, Wednesday, but I'll drop by. That sounds like a plan. Farewell. <laughs> he turns into a bat and flies away. This, uh, and then you see he just flies away over to this like uh, lifeguard chair. <laughs> it actually isn't that far. <laughs> but it was very dramatic. It was very dramatic and sudden. <laughs> that was so fast. Um, did Babs get any uh, HP returned to him? Uh, he is at full HP. Holy crap! Really, this guy's yep. good. Oh, he's he's good. He's a lifeguard. <laughs> Man, I'm liking this Strahd. <laughs> if we ever play Curse of Strahd, can I play Count Strahd? <laughs> not the, not that one. The uh, this one. <laughs> Isn't. I mean, that's weird that we both have the same name. <laughs> I can do the accent. <laughs> I'll do it with a diary. Dear diary, this new strut is kind of a hoser. <laughs> what a creep. But he's a very big creep. I'm starting to think he might be a sex pervert. <laughs> He does not believe in consent. That is not cool. <laughs> not cool at all. Not cool at all. <laughs> I think he brings the 
woman back to the castle, you know, for the implication. Examining the hourglass. That was the other thing that we were doing. Um, Marine, as you sort of make your way back, what were you trying to find out about the hourglass specifically? Uh, I, I'm going to be honest. This is the first time that I've actually seen it. This is actually probably the first time I've really exchanged more than three words with our men. So I'm I'm just kind of like learning all about it. I had Marines interested in all sorts of... Uh, Here is the... In all sorts of arcane... Um, artifact, so whatever I can get out of identity. Roll an arcana check. Roll an arcana. You gain the information by default of the the item itself. So you actually know all the stuff from the item description. Okay. We got a 20. A 20. With a 20 arcana, you get the faintest sense of scrying coming from it. Oh. Um, in addition to the other information about the hourglass. Okay. Um, interesting. Is is there a way to like kind of follow where that might be going? Uh, unfortunately, not at your capacity. Um. You don't have the means to do so, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Uh, okay, let me look at my spell. Let me look at that. All right. Well, we'll hop back to you then, once you've sussed out what you want. Um, the rest of the party, El Chad has, has offered up what what you guys want to do. What's the vote on that? Uh, what were the options again? Uh, there or is the yakuza. The what? Orcs or Yakuza? Orcs. And, uh, the Yakuza, are, are they at the carnival? Uh, no, the Yakuza are at an orphanage. Hmm. Well, Vinny's vote is for the Yakuza for multiple reasons. I vote Orcs. Armed says Bloco would want to do that. The Yakuza, he wants to beat martial arts ass. Oh, wait, what does Ahmed do? Ahmed, uh, he goes, ah, man. And by the way, these are just two options. If you guys want to go do other things, I have other things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ahmed goes, ah, kids. Uh, orphanage sounds lame. Let's go to the Yorks. What do you expect an orphanage to be, happy and fun? Yeah, see, we're on vacation. Yeah, let's kill some horde. <laughs> uh, Jeeves says, I, I don't want to harsh my vibe. Oh, speaking of harsh vibes, have these uh, mushrooms kicked up at all since some time has passed, or are they just still like pretty pretty low tier for Vinny? Um, Vinny, roll 2d6. As you're sitting there, uh, what do you say to your uh, your squire? <laughs> Ethan, the you know, beach bu the battle bum. It's pretty tough being a god, you know. You got the responsibility of the world and multiple planes and dimensions on your shoulders. You know, hey, would you rub my feet a little? Ethan's just standing there looking at you. And then you see Ethan walking down this bridge. Hey! Vinny, you coming? Yeah, just a sec. And uh, Vinny just turns to Dim Wan and says, he's out of his fucking gourd, ain't he? <laughs> Dim Wan, you realize Dim Wan's a trash can. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I am too. Uh, uh, and he's gonna try to get up and follow him. 
When you get up and start fumbling, Vinny, you kind of reach for something in your pocket, maybe a bit extinctually because you're kind of a bit confused. And you, you feel like, man, you feel like you had a bag of something. Like a bag of little things. Hmm. Like round little things. Oh, no. But man, I don't, You they ain't there. You don't got to worry about it. Yeah, look, I'll find them, you know, eventually. As Vinny, the thing that I told you would happen has happened. You've lost your marble. <laughs> and it's not the first time. No. <laughs> you used them on Fafnir and something had to happen. And yeah. The thing that happened is you lost your marble. Wait, well, hey, you know, if I ever get them back, Fafnir's dead. So that's like, I got another I got another one I can use if I need to. If I, if oh, I get them back. you'll find them again. Don't worry. They will show back up. Oh, now no. in what capacity, I can <laughs> yeah. hardly wait. <laughs> Um, but uh, what does Vinny vote for on the the journeys? Oh yeah. wait, you said you said Darmy. yeah. Vinny votes for orphanage. So right now, I think we're one up on orcs. Yeah, one for orcs. Okay, I think orphanage is winning though. Is it? No, because uh, no, it's orcs. Our meds said orcs. Two votes to one vote currently. Orcs to Yakuza. Yeah. So what I does El Chad want? Um, El Chad has some preference actually. All right. What about our other companions? Uh, Baps. Bap. Uh, doesn't really know what's going on, so. Yeah, it'll go for the Yakuza. Yakuza, all right, we're tied up. That means El Chad has to make the brave decision. All right. Uh, even if we go with uh, Orcs, odds we go with Yakuza. Uh, orcs, Orcs it is. Orcs it is! Uh, Vinny turns to Ethan and just says... My will be done. <laughs> I think it was supposed to be that way the whole you time. Realize, you realize you're looking at a trash can again. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm right here, dude. I'm right next to it. Dude, hey, anybody out. tell you you look kind of like, uh, like that like guy? Like a trash can. No. I, like a trash can. Yeah. I get it a lot. You're pointing at a trash can. We'll, uh, we'll try to clean you up. And Vinny grabs the trash can by hand. <laughs> You start rolling it with you. Add a trash can to your inventory. <laughs> What's the weight of that? <laughs> it weighs. Hold on. Is it a metal bin or is it like a, a plastic or wooden bin thing? Roll roll 2d6. We're going to determine which of the trash cans you grab. <laughs> Fantasy plastic. 11. It is actually like a, a wooden trash can, but it has wheels. Like, uh, think of it like a, like a trash can you'd put out on the curb. So it has, like, this lid that flips up and over. Yeah. But it has, like, wheels so you can, like, tilt it and pull it. All right. Um, my chariot awaits me, and Vinny's going to hop into it and have Ethan push. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Your squire is on the case. <laughs> I'm gonna make my way to our bed. Well, um, here we will. I'll put on some more suspenseful music, maybe. This one. Or right, foreboding. I got foreboding right here. I'll, I'll be invisible as I'm like walking past people because, like, I really don't want to draw attention to this thing. Okay. Um, I'm gonna be flipping through music and trying to find thoughts. Okay, anyway, uh, you go over to Armed. Yes. As like Armed, you're gonna feel like a tap on your shoulder, and there's gonna be nothing there, and then Marine's gonna basically like 
disillusion the, the like the invisibility to go away and then like pull you like behind like a bush. Oh, this again? I'm gonna have you know right now. I know exactly where the hell this thing came from. What the hell it is? Did you know that somebody is scrying right now? No. I didn't know anybody was scrying. I pulled it out of the dreamscape. Do you have any idea how fucking powerful this thing is? Well, I mean, I have an idea. It's pretty powerful. It manipulates time. Yes, do you understand where the wizard this came from? No. No, actually. Have you never read a fucking history book? A history book? No, I mean... Well, now I'll I mean, have you feel know. Feel free to enlighten me. I'll have you know my master has read many books. Shut yes, actually. Thank you, Jeeves. I mean, uh, Marine, I am a sage after all. That is true. And I'm a war mage. Uh, uh, read them and weep. Just... Say that again. Read them and weep. Read them and weep. <laughs> Tell me. What did you find out? This thing is being tried on currently. The entire time that we have traversed with you, they have seen where you've gone. They know what you know. I don't know how powerful it is, but if it has anything to do with the wizard that created this artifact, they are probably the one behind it. Unless you pissed off some other magical being that might absolutely want this thing. Our med starts. Our med starts counting on his fingers. Uh, quite a few, actually. Yeah, what, he looks wait, over wait, wait, at wait, wait, Jeeves. Wait, wait, he's like, wait, 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 wait. Uh, there was that Mananin. What? There was Mananin. Do I know there this was... name? No. What well, happened that history check? Okay, I'm going to make a history check. There was Mananin. There was... Uh, oof. It was the who was he looks over at Jeeves and he's like, who who owned that you temple? The one that you died in. Uh, oh, that was that was Memphis. Memphis, yes, yes, yes. There was Memphis. There was. Uh, oh, and then before I was originally spawned, I believe there was others that you encountered uh, in your training to become a dream. Uh, yes. I'm not talking about before your training. Oh, there was Nef Nef Nefertitis. 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 That was yes. One. She chased so, us around quite a few times. Yes, a hey, anyways, so, so Nefertitis. Nef 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 um, Mananin. Mananin. One of them, yes. And um, Memphis, the one that actually made you. You, you, you do realize. You do realize that we just faced gods. We just. Face God. Well, you know, and when you... we have the entirety of Gloomhaven who wants our heads and wants to conquer the entire world. And Lord knows how many people you pissed off in Talon. And then there's the problem at Kerheim, and then there's the problem everywhere fucking else. I'm... Look, you seem stressed. We... I'm stressed. We have been on this island for less than a well, day. Well, you know, Master. We can't go anywhere. We're being chased by everyone and everything. And there is someone who is powerful enough to be able to scry on an item that this was made on. And you have the audacity to say it. It's, it's, it's all right. It's okay. I need to take a bit to relax. What do you mean I need to relax? Well, you know, Master, she makes it seem like we've done quite a, I must admit, we must pat ourselves on the back. We have done quite a lot. We've done quite a, a bit. very short amount exactly. of time. Exactly. Uh, Mayard would be proud, wouldn't he? He would very much so. You best I best believe you better be able to hide in the fucking dreamscape because I swear if they don't tear you an asshole, I will. Now hey. Hey. <laughs> Chill. Chill, brah. Brah. And uh our our med our med uh, you know pushes up his sunglasses. He's like, here, look, Marine. Don't you worry. I will handle it. We will handle it. And uh, he holds out his well, hand. Jeeves does the same thing. He, like, puts his, his glasses up and holds his hand out. If you never thought I would say this, 
I met Gil and his red box. <laughs> well, I think we've had enough of this. We should go deal with these orcs and, you know, blow off some steam, don't you think, Master? Yes. Orcs. Yes. Let's... Orcs are the left of our problem. Orcs Marine. Marine. Problem. I've been alive less than two months. <laughs> Well, then I think it's about time you live a little, and then Jeeves is going to leave. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Armed asks for the, the hourglass back so he can do a little detection on it as well. Yes. Yes. Please, be this thing out of my hands for the next opportunity you have to go to Thank you for uh, looking at this for me. If you need any other assistance in any other sort of magical item, I will do so. But you will hear my rant every time. <laughs> Thank you, Marie. You, you've been most helpful. And uh, Ahmed does mean it. And he he's like, he turns around away from Marine, and he mumbles to himself. How could I have not noticed? How could I have not noticed that this was being scribed? What the hell? When, when you walk away, and when Marine's at the distance, like Jeeves like scurries back really quick. Oh, did you hear what I said? That was very good. But also, Master, how did we not notice? <laughs> he's like, Jeeves. Look at this. Look, help help me look at it. That's How actually can we be sort such of fools. It's actually fairly self-serving to ask Jeeves in assistance uh, <laughs> in our cottage. <laughs> he will assist. And uh in that examination, uh with his help, you are able to uh are you are able to be aware that yes, it is indeed being scried upon almost actively, right? Like Oof. it's not like it's something that turns on and off. It's just in this constant state of scrying. Interesting. Um, how would scrying work? How does scrying work? Is, I, I assume that Ahmed, as a magical sage, would know this, but me so as a player doesn't scrying, know. Scrying works by either knowing a person, location, or object. And then basically you can remote view that object and everything around that object. Um, sight, sound, things like that. It depends on whether it's greater scrying or lesser scrying. Mm -hmm. um, and you can just see in that object, I think up to 30 feet or 60 feet, actually, if it's greater. It's um, greater 60. Yeah, so greater is 60. Uh, so whoever's scrying sight? on this... No, is it true sight is the thing that lets you see like invisible creatures and Creatures in disguise. Oh, what stuff. I mean is, is that vision like true sight? Do you get to see everything, or is it like no. your no, eyes it's, are on? It's as the... if you are seeing it. Now, if you have true sight, you can see it I with scrying. Um, but scrying is just like remote viewing. It's like having a camera on an object, hmm. and it's like sort of direct surrounding. Hmm. Well. Jeeves, we'll have to think of what to do with this thing. Yes, we'll, we'll have to figure out some way and put and hold on, Master. One, can I have that really quick? Uh, the hourglass. Uh, yes. Oh yes, just one, one moment. And he takes it and he walks it away for a bit and puts it on the ground and then comes back over. Master, it, whoever's scrying it will see us and hear us talking. Yeah, I mean, that is pretty spooky. Uh, well, I don't want them to have our, our plans in order, if, if that makes any sense. If they know we're sussing them out. Yeah, that's true. I think the best thing to do right now would be to not let on that we know anything. All right. And, and he's going to pick back up the hourglass and come running back. Okay, it did nothing. Uh, you're a master. Oh, yes. Well, it's a fun little toy. I, uh, 
love this thing and I want to keep using it. Very fun. Very great. Yes. Yes. And then uh, we walk on down. He's like, now let's go kill some orcs. Let's go kill some orcs. Um, now, Chad, you yeah. are leading the party. Oh. Uh, you are aware. You are aware that the orc encampment is in a cave. Um, sort of deep in the sort of wood wooded area of Casa de Yasni. Um, do you want to just walk up and and see them? Do you want to do some sort of scouting? Uh, what do you want to do? Do you want to maybe try to jump some on patrol? Um, yeah, I think we're going to jump some on patrol and do some branding. Okay. Right out of the get-go. I love it. You see, El Chad. I don't have a map for this. Hold on. I'm going to have to conjure up a map real quick. Where is my trail one? I haven't used this map in forever. Oh my god, Binky's on this map. <laughs> oh my god, I think this, I think this is the map oh, for Edna. No. Yeah. Alright, let me... Oh god, I gotta Wait, find no. a party. I don't I know love Binky. I was thinking about Binky. I love Gumby. Binky. Can we get right. Gumby back? He's a sandwich. Not anymore. Yeah, they took the sandwich oh, away from us. I got a whole thing about it. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. <laughs> Not even a joke. We might have made like the world's worst Eldritch abomination. Should three model Grumpy. Um, sort of sneaking around in the bushes. Um, and by sneaking around in the bushes, these orcs have not necessarily hidden themselves in any sort of great way. You see three uh, orcs. They look like scouts hanging around a campfire uh, drinking. Now, one thing to note about these orcs is they are gray-skinned. They're not like your typical, you know, green orc. Um, they're a gray-skinned orc. Are they sick? They're, they don't appear to be sick. Ooh, um, here, I will, sick. I'll make one big to, to show you what they're like. Um, but they're hanging out here. They seem to be laughing and drinking. All right, guys, what's the plan? Well, where are we approaching from? Or what, what whichever direction? angle you'd like. Yes, all I, of them. I, I, I mean, these guys you are can just circle on... them. These guys are just on vacation, right? Um. From what you were aware, they were here to kill Jabethany. Oh. Oh, well, uh... Don't have to kill these guys then, right? I mean, we, well, you could, we don't have to. Me and Ethan could roll in there and we could, you know, convince them about the wrongness of their ways. Send them. They're they're looking good. Why are you in that trash can? You mean my steed? <laughs> yeah. Man, it's hard to pull on this bumpy road. Yeah, but we go fast. Show them how fast we go, Ethan. All right, hold on. Whoop 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 whoop, whoop and he eats one of the mushrooms, and he starts <laughs> pulling you towards the orcs. I'm imagining it's slow going, but since we're on mushrooms, it feels really fast. 
It does. You guys actually watch Vinny and Ethan move closer and closer to the orcs in probably the slowest way possible. <laughs> Shit. I mean, sh should we do anything? Should we stop them? Should That was You said we'll hold our hand out and just go shh. Let nature take happens. its course. <laughs> Let nature take its course. <laughs> um, as you uh, get closer and closer, Vinny, the orcs see you and they jump up really quick and they pull their bows out and go, whoa, 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 they eat there, whoa, they eat there. Hey, hey, um, hey, yeah, there's no need for that. The orcs look at each other. They look kind of confused because I want to just point out from what the orcs see. The <laughs> orcs see a man in a trash can wearing a suit with a big cape <laughs> and a bum pulling, pulling the trash can behind him. He's probably sweaty um, and smells really bad even for orcs. So the orcs look at each other, look back at you, uh, make a persuasion check. Persuasion. Boom. 19. They don't think you're a threat, so they kind of lower their bows a bit. Um... And they kind of look at each other for a bit, and then they turn to you, and out of his mouth, you hear, Rub, rub, you dead yourself. Oh. As they are speaking orc. This here is my friend Ethan, who has recently had a brush with the divine, we'll say. I'm just speaking in comfort. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I, well, I am the divine, or you know, you might call it God, if you will. Roll 2d6. <laughs> hey, okay. They they look confused. Rub your joke. Yum yum. See, we are here to convince you of the errors of your ways. You know, a life of violence, while it is cool and all, um, it's really not a good thing to be doing here at like a fucking resort and beach area. Have you thought about being bouncers? Event. And they're like all talking with one another. They don't seem to know what to do with you. You've come in here with such confidence that basically they're unsure whether they should be like hostile or friendly. Ethan, wheel us up to the fire so we can get to know the new friends. And right away, sir. <laughs> Nay. He works you there. Uh, one of them kind of steps forward, Vinny. Mm -hmm. uh, as you get wheeled the deer. Okay. He steps forward and he goes, uh, uh, We orc. We Find woman, and they kind of nod, like they, they think that this guy, this orc's got it, as in he knows how to speak common. He's probably the only one out of them that can speak the best. Very good. I see. I see you uh, uh already turning a new leaf, helping to find lost women on the island. Let me offer he, you this as a as a sign of goodwill and uh, 
as hopefully a, uh, an incentive to continue on your path of righteousness. And Vinny's just gonna hold out his hand with the remaining half handful of Ethan's mushrooms. <laughs> like, uh, we take? Of course. I'd be insulted if you didn't. Uh, make a persuasion. Uh, one of them, he looked, the one who's speaking comedy, he looks kind of surprised. He goes, uh, insult? No, no, no. We, we do. Uh, and they take the mushrooms and they're going to eat them. Uh, because they think otherwise they're going to insult you. Oh. Whoa. As they all start to look really, really fucking high. Now let's all just sit here by the fire and, you know, stare into it and, you know, see some shit. Hey, stare. Um, all right, guys, they are incapacitated. <laughs> <laughs> They are conscious, like they're they're still like looking, but they're like completely zong. Uh, what, what, what do we do now? Vinny's also kind of completely zonked, staring into the fire. <laughs> El Chad, what, so what, what's the deal with these guys? Are just here to to uh, kill kill your boss? Whoa, 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 did you say my boss? Yeah, that's I'm... who she is, right? No, 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 they're here to kill Vinny. See, look, he's about to get killed by him. Pep <laughs> <laughs> slicks over. Uh... And he sees, he sees Ethan closing the lid on Vinny in the trash can. <laughs> I, I, honestly, I think that they're all right. No. Hey, isn't it your duty to convert them? If I convert brain. I mean, I could, I mean, we could go kill a couple if you wanted to. Not really. They, they seem all right. I, I don't know. I'd rather watch you brand them. While they're sitting around the fire, just like kind of like sat there, I'm just going to use magic to be able to like change the color of the fire. Oh, Zog Zog. Does anyone speak orc? I guess it'd be the other question. Yeah, I think El Chad does. I got, yeah. uh, I got tongues because of a monk. Oh, love it. I've got undercommon. Nah. Grogu's away from the party right now. Uh, no, I'll specifically funny. speak orc. Then he pops out of the closed trash can and goes, and on the seventh day, Yasni is risen! Uh, and he holds his hands uh, up above his head. Whoa! Uh, they cheer. Yeah, what zug zug! And uh, Vinny's gonna hop out of the out of the trash can and start going around and putting his hands on their like foreheads and giving them Yasni's <laughs> blessing. Uh, so what were they? What are they saying? Because Musa can um, understand them. So Musa, you hear them like, yeah, zug zug. Hell yeah. They're really high. <laughs> okay. Uh, you feel learning... like they're they're open to questions, maybe. Um, Baps is going to come up behind this one and kind of like move his hand kind of across his field of vision as he's staring into the fire. Does anything they, happen? You're speaking, or they're, I'm going to speak in org but I'm going to say it in, like, English so that Muse and El Chad know what they're saying. Mm -hmm. um, so you won't understand it, but they will. Understood. They Whoa! Big, colorful man! 
<laughs> you an orc? No. Uh, Too soft. And they like wave at you. <laughs> so but, but what what do we want to know from these guys anyways? Like where the do we want them to T take us to their leader, or what, what's the plan here? Musa will ask, uh, so what are you guys uh, doing on this island? Uh, getting honor back. Uh, how so? Our chief, Multok, want honor back for his father, Multok, his son of Domgar. Uh -huh. Must regain honor for the Bloodfang clan or the Bloodfang horde. Yeah. Kill Warrior Woman. Uh, how did he die? <laughs> Dumgark not die. Dumgark. Oh. They look really sad all of a sudden. <laughs> what happened? And who is this person you're looking for? Domgark. Leader of many hordes. Bloodfang horde. Greatest of orc horde. Domgark. Steel warrior woman. From shiny people. Make wife. Win mate. Domgar come from tent. Mm. Not the same. Mm. Not the same. <laughs> Start shaking your head. You're not as big as I thought. So Dom Domgar lose will to fight. Horde disband. Musa will. Domgar spend time poking fire. He basically stands in the fetal position and pokes a fire all day. Musa will pat him on it, uh, just pat him and just go, uh, well, she left the island and, uh, she <laughs> went to, yeah, she went to the other island that has all those, uh, depressed people surrounding it and joining them. So you should go attack that island. Uh, they're high off their, their gourd, so I'm not even going to make you roll a deception or anything on this. As they uh, they kind of look surprised by this, and they go, uh, to you, Musa, wait, crap, I lost my sidetrack music there. They go, huh? But, but gloom people, yeah. they tell us, come here. <laughs> Do you think they really want you to kill their, you know, uh, camp, uh, buddy, the one that they all sleep with? No. Ugh, they kind of talk over to, but, but their chief, their grand chief, tell us, come here. Yeah, of course he does. But, you know, she's not here because she works for them. They want you to attack us. And we want to kill her too. Uh, and but we crashed on this island. She's over there. We must tell Moltok. Yeah. Yes. As I'm just like mimicking like the sound that they've made. <laughs> yes. Oh, we must. Oh, and they're like kind of falling over one another. Do you I want me must... to write it down for you? Yes. Yes, she good. Writes, she writes it down. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. And then she'll like, they're here to kill um, Vivian. Tell the rest of the group. Uh, but I convinced them to go attack Gloomhaven instead. It, it, is it just them? Or do they have more? more... Oh, they have, they have more. Who 
isn't isn't Vivian the one that you were totally smacking face with on the beach? That's Becky Shabethany. No, Damn it, Shabethany. Sorry, I thought Shabethany. I thought it was Vivian. Oh wow, that's a long pull. Yeah, that was on me. Those articles are not gonna be right. Well, well now that you say it, Vivian does sound like if, if Vincent would be. A thing there. His name would be Vivian. Who's Vincent? I am the all being. I am male and female and in between and neither all at the same time. I am everything and I am nothing. El Chad, what are you gonna do? Because they're letting the orcs leave. That, that well, sounds really you know, exhausting, Vinny. You know, I think they've solved the orc problem themselves. Yeah, and El Chad had nothing to do with it, and we'll face none of the consequences later. Me? El Chad, El Chad, we end the session. You feel a soft breeze move by, and Yasni smile as he said, <laughs> "Well, I guess that's one way of doing it." <laughs> really, that's truly the more Yasni way to handle the situation. Yep. You hear another voice from Yasni. This is still Yasni. Them orcs gonna die real hard. <laughs> Good job, my boy. <laughs> Just in droves. Yeah, there's Shabethany's problem now. And that is where we will end tonight's session. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more incredible tales from the Adventurer's Landing.